Okay, in this video clip, you're going to learn how to um, use the zoom or slider in the lower right corner of your screen, um, how to navigate in a document, how to change the view, how to use spelling and grammar. So let's get started. Um, first off, to navigate and view a document, there are some keyboard commands that you can use. Um, the control key on your keyboard, it's the CTRL. If you hold that button down and then look for the home key, H-O-M-E, hold down the control key and hit the home key. That'll take you to the beginning of the file. And then near the home key is the end key, E-N-D. Hold down control and hit the end key. And that takes you to the end of a file. Control N takes you to the end. Control home takes you to the beginning. Um, you can use the mouse, obviously, and the scroll bars over here on the right to move around. Um, also, if uh, you would like to see a whole document on your screen, like right now I can see part of this page and not the whole thing, top and bottom, down here in the lower right corner of your screen is the zoom. I'm going to hit the minus sign and that zooms out and then I can see the whole page. If I hit the plus sign, it zooms in. Okay. There's also um, three different view buttons down here. The first button is read mode, and when you click that, it just makes it a little bit bigger. The middle one is print layout, which is what we're used to working in. That's what it would actually look like on a piece of paper once it prints. And the third one is web layout, like if you're making a web page or a blog. Let's always just use the middle one uh, for print layout. Um, Another way to change your views is to use the view tab up here. If you click the view tab, here is zoom, okay? And you can even tell it a percentage here and click OK. I think it's a lot easier using the zoom, the scroll bar down here in the lower right corner. But you can even tell it one page and it zooms just to one page. Multiple pages, if there were more than one page, you could click that and it would put them side by side. Um, here are your different layouts, that, again, that I showed you for um, the view. Okay. Um, one thing that is new in this document is, uh, or in this version of Word, Word 2013, is spelling and grammar and a and an item called well spelling and grammar is not new. Okay. And to check spelling and grammar, you go to rev the review tab, and right here, spelling and grammar, you click that. This document doesn't have any errors, and so we're good. Okay. One thing that is new though is define, which is really kind of a cool thing. Um, let me show you how it works. You're going to double or click on a word. Okay. Maybe I don't know what this word means. So then validate it right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm, then I'm going to point at it and hit my right mouse button and I'm going to click define. And the first time I use this, it's not going to give me a dictionary, okay? So I need to get a dictionary. So in order to do that, I am going to click Insert. You need to do this as well on your computer. And this is what's really neat. There are apps that can be hook, can, hooked into Microsoft Word 2010. So if I click on my down arrow here, you can see I don't have any apps. So I'm going to go to the store. And I'm going to type dictionary. And you should do this too. And the dictionary that you need to add is the Merriam Webster dictionary. So I'm going to click add. And we're going to trust it. Okay, and now I can close this pane because now I actually have a dictionary. It takes a little while to load. So while it's loading, I'm going to show you something else here. I can I can click on this word validate and I can right click on it and I can point at synonyms. And so if I keep using the same word over and over and over again, you can um, use the synonyms feature to pick a different word. Okay, um, there my dictionary is finally loaded. Um, I can click on certified. I can right click on it and choose define. Or I guess it was certified that I had clicked on because I had changed it. And there it gives me the definition and gives me examples. So 
that is how you use that. And the other thing I want to show you is word count. And if you go to the review tab and you choose in the proofing section, which the, it's all of these that we're working on today, the proofing section. I'm going to click on word count. And it's telling me the word count of, of my document, my entire document. There's one page. Actually, I have one word selected, that many characters. Okay, so I'm not going to select anything. Let's not select anything. And now let's do word count. One page. There's 120 words on this page. 635 characters, that including no spaces, but with spaces. Okay, so that's kind of neat to know how to do that. Now go to go to page in your book. I'll just go your book and pick up where you left off.